Hello YouTube and welcome to the beginning of our online Bible study. Um, God's been talking to me a lot about finding a way to share my heart lately. I uh, haven't really had the opportunity in a lot of ways. Um, so I just wanted to jump on here and share with whoever will listen. So I'm really excited about where this is going. I'm looking forward to hopefully meeting some new people, hopefully sharing some word with people, encouraging people, challenging people, all the above. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Richard Allen Stubbs. I am originally from Decatur, Alabama, but my parents moved a lot. I've lived in South Georgia, South Alabama. I currently live in Central Arkansas, right outside of Little Rock. Um, I'm a part of New Life Church out here, and I love it. Love every minute of it whenever I'm there. Met some amazing people and had some amazing opportunities arise for me there just in the few months I've been going. Um, if you want to learn any more about me, there are several other videos on this channel that you can check out. Um, there, there's not a comprehensive uh, <laughs> lesson on who I am, but uh, we'll learn a lot as we go. I'm pretty transparent, and I love to share my personal story um, along the way as I share the word. So if you know me, welcome. Thanks for checking this out. Um, I'm hoping that we all have a great time doing this together and share share the videos with, with some of your friends and people that you might think that uh, they would be good for. So I'm really excited, uh, in case you can't tell, I'm sitting here in the middle of uh, the camp I work at. It's called Pfeiffer Camp out here in Little Rock. Uh, we deal with kids who are at risk, age uh, grades third through fifth. Um, we work with them in the alternate classroom experience. It's been um, doing its thing out here for a good 30 years. Um, so it's a really cool thing to be a part of. Uh, I'm excited to be here. So um, that's a little bit about me. Uh, we're going to be doing this every Sunday. I'll be uploading it every single week. So if you want to make sure that you get these on time as they come out, just make sure you click subscribe. Uh, you'll get an email or whatever kind of notification your phone will send you whenever I upload a new one on Sunday. Um, can't promise what time they'll come up, but it will be every single Sunday that I'll post these. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So just a little bit about myself. Um, I just, um, in case you don't know me or in case you haven't heard all of it, like I said, I was born in Decatur, Alabama into a family that was heavily involved in the Southern Baptist Church. I grew up learning a lot of, uh, a lot of theology, a lot of doctrine a lot of rules, a lot of expectations, some grace, not a whole lot. Um, um, so that was mainly the kind of theology that was drilled into my head. And by the time I was 10 years old, I could say the books of the Bible backwards and tell you all the authors and name all 12 disciples and find any book in the Bible faster than anyone else. And I thought I was the, the, the Jesus hotshot. <laughs> uh, I thought I had it made. And as I became a teenager, I was, uh, I really thought I was something because I didn't have any tattoos, I didn't have any piercings, I was a virgin, never touched drugs or alcohol. I was like, man, this is like the life. This is how a Christian should be. Um, only for all that to fall apart when I was 17 over just uh, several unfavorable circumstances that just really had me very bitter and angry. And by the time New Year's Eve rolled around, that's December 31st, 2011, I was kind of at the end of my rope with all of it and just fed up with all of it. And I just realized that I could not live that life anymore. Um, and when Jesus is not in the picture or, or you don't know he's in the picture or whatever, like taking your own life is really the only option you have. Um, praise God that I knew that God was real, and I had been taught to believe, and in that moment, for the very first time, I actually called out to Jesus as if he would actually help me, um, as if he were actually real, and more than just a religion, or more than, than an idea um, for me to use for my own personal gain. Um, he was there, someone to run to, to save me. Uh, that's what he does. He saves us from whatever, whatever it is that we're in. 
he saved me from that. And I remember waking up New Year's Day 2012 feeling like a new person. And I've been walking with him ever since. Um, I'm sure you'll hear a lot of stories along the way about how things have gone. Um, it's been, so it's been six years now, going on six and a half here in a couple months. Um, <clears throat> so it's been a wild ride with him. So you'll probably hear a lot about it as we go and as I tell stories. Um, one thing I will add, since we're technically diving into a Bible study here, I'll let y'all know I started uh, doing some Bible studies of my own about four years ago, uh, March the 1st, 2014, to be exact. Um, I led that group for a couple months um, under the vision of the leader who went before me. Um, took a few months off over several circumstances. Um, and then picked it back up in September when I realized that um, the vision that that guy had, the vision that he had given to me, um, was still a real thing, and still a very important thing. So I decided to pick it back up, and God was challenging me to just start a simple little Bible study. It didn't have to be anything extravagant or anything. Um, and that group ended up lasting for a solid two or three years after that. Um, and on and off it met all the way up until uh, May of 2017 when God called me to leave Florence, Alabama, where I was living at the time, where I went to college, um, to pursue my greater destiny working in a uh, camp setting. Um, went down to Florida for a couple months, had an opportunity to, to share my heart with several of the kids at that camp, and then came here to a more full-time, more permanent year-round position at a, uh, a camp. Um, so that's where I'm at right now as a, as a Bible study leader, as a Bible teacher. Um, so this is something I'm picking up. It's almost been a year since I was leading that Bible study. Um, but I'm really excited about this one, looking forward to seeing what God is going to do. Um, and I'll be praying for 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 all of you who come, for everybody to to know God like they haven't known before. Um, and if you have any prayer requests, feel free to throw them in the comments below and, or whatever. We can, we can talk about stuff or whatever. Um, so I'm just really excited. It's just kind of something I'm throwing together right now. I really don't know how all of it's going to go. I just know I'm going to be posting videos every week to encourage and challenge and, and train you guys in the Word. Um, so it's going to be fun. Um, I don't know if anybody has like translation preferences or anything. I usually use the New King James Version. That's what my personal study Bible is. Um, I, uh, when I'm teaching, I prefer to stick to one translation. There's, there's a lot of pastors and stuff who will bounce around to different translations as they're teaching. And sometimes I feel like, I don't, I don't think all of them are doing this, but sometimes I just... I just feel like they're doing that to get the Bible to say what they want it to say and find the translation that words it a certain way so that it sounds the way they want it to sound. But I'm going to be using one translation to stay consistent so that all of the word is the same word across the board. Um, sometimes I'll pull out something from the Message Bible, which, by the way, by the way, just to clarify, uh, the Message Bible is not a translation to me, but I do believe it is a nice paraphrase. So sometimes if the Bible's getting like really meaty with some of its, uh, some of its big words or some of its uh, historical context, it's hard for us to wrap our minds around. I'll pull out the Message Bible to give us a good paraphrase so that it might help um, understand a little better about what the Scripture's trying to say to us. Um, that's really all I've got for now. Um, looking forward to next week when we dive into the Word and, and really get going. Um, and tell your friends about it. Um, I'm not trying to be famous or anything. I just I just believe that God has given me a gift. I believe I wouldn't be this passionate about it if, if He hadn't. Um, and I do believe that He is going to be showing up in some ways. And I would love for as many people as possible to be here. Um, and if, if, if this video has been posted several years ago and you're just now watching it, you're not too late. Uh, there's probably dozens and dozens of videos up by now. Um, just feel free to, 
to scroll through them and check them out, see what God is uh, using me to say, and see see what I've got that can encourage you or challenge you or train you or or whatever it is that you need. Um, and if anybody has any um, theological issues or like uh, doctrinal questions or anything they would like for me to teach on, feel free to comment about that. I love answering your questions with a Bible lesson. Um, so, yeah, um, whatever you got, just throw it at me and, and I'll pray about it and see what God can, can do with that. Um, really excited. I'm glad you guys are here. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you and, and meeting all of you. And we're going to have a great time. So, um, hope to see you all right back here next week. I'm going to be breaking down the concept of the gospel itself. Because what's a Bible course without starting with the gospel? Um, I have a very specific way that I like to, to share it and teach it. Everybody I've ever shared the gospel with this way has accepted it, interestingly enough. Um, so, looking forward to meeting you guys right back here next week, next Sunday, um, so we can talk about that and gear up for whatever's next. Alright, I love you guys. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I'll see you next week.